Welcome to Music Time in Africa. I'm Heather Maxwell, and we're here at the Clarice Smith Center for the Performing Arts at the University of Maryland. We're about to see and listen to The Nile Project, a collective group of musicians from up and down the Nile River. Enjoy the show. It's Music Time in Africa. Mama, you just 
I'm here with Mina Girgis, the CEO and director of the Nile Project. Thanks for talking with me. This sounds amazing, Mina. Thank you for having us. Heather. Yes. So, would you tell us what is the Nile Project exactly? The Nile Project is an initiative to inspire a more integrated approach to solve our water challenges in the Nile Basin. We bring together musicians from the 11 countries to collaborate and using that collaboration to inspire other ways of cooperating to solve many of our water conflict issues. So what 11 countries are involved? Well, we can start from the White Nile uh, that is surrounded by Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, South Sudan, and Ethiopia on the Blue Nile, meeting the White Nile in Khartoum, Sudan, and then into Egypt and the Mediterranean. The musicians working together, is that like a model for how people can work together to resolve problems related to water? We do hope that the collaborations that we have on stage inspire similar ways of approaching the challenges we face by combining many of our rhythms, many of our mm -hmm. musical modes, many of our instruments, uh, we find creative solutions to address many of the challenges we face as musicians, uh, but in, in the hope that this collaboration inspires similar creative solutions in the water sector as well. What got you interested in this in the first place, in the music aspect of the Nile Project? Well, it started with an Ethiopian concert that I attended in San Francisco. Mm. And I asked myself, why did I grow up in Egypt and was never exposed to this music? Why are we so culturally isolated in the Nile Basin where we don't get the chance to hear each other's musical traditions? So it was really a response to the fact that we share a river, but we don't share a stage where we can hear each other. Wow, that's, that's fascinating. Thank you so much. Let's hear some more of the Nile Project.
So I'm here now with Kasiva Mutua, who I met last year. <laughs> you were here for the Folklife Festival in Washington last yeah, year. Yeah, I how, remember that. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I've been good. How are you? I'm fine, <laughs> thank you. So tell me, how did you get involved with the Nile Project? A friend of mine from Egypt uh, told me about the project and I went online and applied because there was a call for musicians to apply. And uh, after a month I heard back from them and I was chosen for the project. So <laughs> how long have you guys been touring? We've been on tour for four months and it's been a busy four months. How does the project relate to you personally, the Nile and issues of water resources? Before I came into the project, um, I didn't really relate to the Nile as much. And I think this goes to Kenyans in general. You're taught in school that the Nile starts in Jinja in Uganda and ends up in, uh, in Egypt. And with this kind of knowledge, which is, I think, pretty wrong, <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't really feel connected to the river as much. I came here and I made music and then something changed. Yes, we're making music, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting like more curious to learn about these instruments and these cultures. And the more I get to relate to these people, I understand their relationship with them now. And I also see my, I mean, like the, the part I play in this whole circle. I feel like I have a more sense of caring and um, empathy for um, other people living on the Nile. What I do upstream is definitely affecting people downstream. So you're all connected. We are all connected. Mm -hmm. I feel like we are one. It's just that we're separated by these boundaries, which are very political per se. But yes. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're one. We sound like one entity, mm -hmm. yet we speak such different languages mm -hmm. and play similar instruments, but sound very different. Yes. And we look different. Mm -hmm. Some of us look different and but we I don't it's so interesting. we we come up and we become wow. one. Thank you so much, Siva. <laughs> Thank you. <Heather. laughs> now let's listen to more of the Nile Project.
I'm here with Jorga Mesfin, the saxophone player of the group from Ethiopia. That's correct. It's so nice to have you here and you sound just beautiful. Thank you so much. Tell me about the compositions themselves. Uh, who composes those and who arranges the pieces? With such a huge orchestra, I keep wondering that. Each person kind of has in, the, in their mind to bring at least one contribution to the, to the whole group. Mm -hmm. And once that comes, based on the direction of that person, uh, the whole group arranges the songs together. So the arrangement is done like as a collective with leadership from whoever is bringing, so within the context. Are the instruments that are being played specific to certain regions? Yes, um, well, we have a lot of instruments that most of us saw for the first time. For example, the Enanga mm -hmm. from Rwanda, played by Sophie Nsazenga. That is the, the big uh, trough, the, the zither. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. Most of us had never seen it until this project. Um, there's the oud from Egypt, there's adungu from Uganda. Adungu? Adungu. Is this just the a harp. piano? No, oh, the, the harp, harp that looks like a boat. Okay. And um, we have the tam piano, Kembe, mm -hmm. from Burundi. So most of these instruments usually have not been tuned in some of the scales that you'll hear them in today. Mm -hmm. So it's been a leap and creativity for these musicians to try and tune to uh, scales that were before foreign, but now merging. they're playing, they're merging and expressing uh, each other's uh, concepts of music. So, uh, and the drums are also from three different countries. We have a Kenyan, a Ugandan, and Egyptian that make up the rhythm section. And you on the saxophone, and you're like dodging and in between. And you're and you're yeah, putting it all together. Yeah, well, we have two. There's a kawala, which is an Egyptian wooden, like a bamboo flute. So the saxophone and the, and the kawala are the horn section of the project. That's beautiful. Yep. Thank you, Jorka. Thank you so much. <laughs>
you enjoyed the show. We'd like to thank the Nile Project and the University of Maryland for having us. This is Heather Maxwell and I look forward to having you join us again next time for the next edition of Music Time in Africa.